Hey guys. All right, we're back here and quick tutorial on how to recolor your black and white image for your black and white project. Right. So quickly up now I've already imported in my picture here and I got a picture of the Joker really kind of ominous looking, doesn't it? Now, first thing I want to notice is, you know, we always set the canvas size, but sometimes if you find a picture that you really like, just talk to me and let me know. Not everything's going to fit perfectly in the canvas size. We can always adjust. If you don't like this area here, we can always have what's called as a fill. It's I've already imported one in. It's just a layer fill. It's black. I click on it. It's right off right now. See, it's now black and kind of fills the area. All right. So now I have my Joker. Now I want to recolor. Now there's a little bit of coloration already around his lips. It's not a true black and white picture, but this tutorial, it will work. Now what we want to do is, again, we want to add color. We want to recolor a black and white picture. So to do that, we're going to, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's go with his lips. See, there's already kind of a little reddish tint to it, but we're going to add more to that. So we're going to go to our brush tool, click on brush, and then we're going to go find our color. And let's, let's give him a little, let's throw a little green in there. Let's pick this green right there. All right. So our, our green color tool. Now, remember, First rule, never ever draw on the master. See, there's our master. We want to add a layer. Click on this, add a layer. And we're going to talk about his lips. So we're going to put there and lips. Now, again, you have to add layers because you have so many layers. If you don't, you're really going to mess up. Okay, so we have our green, our brush tool. We're on the lips layer. Now, zoom in a little bit here. And let's brush this in. Now I'm going to do it quickly because it's a tutorial. Of course, I expect you guys to do it a lot slower. Take your time. I told you graphic design is tedious at times. So that's why. You should take your time far more than this. But for our tutorial, you will get an idea of what we want to accomplish. So we're going to give his lips some green. We're just going to go to the area here. And we'll stop. We'll stop right there. Okay, now we're going to back this up. Now you're thinking that really looks horrible. And I agree. It really does look bad. Okay. But the reason was is how to adjust this. So it just doesn't look like a cartoon drawing, which we did in a previous lesson. And to do that is to check your blending modes. Now there's two different ways to do it really simply. It's what we're, since it's an introductory class, simplest here. First one, check your opacity. Again, make sure you're on the right layer. Click on opacity and we can bring it down. See, now we're getting those good shadows that are already built into the picture. So green pass it now. See, we're getting a little bit of greenish tint here and some good, we want those shadows to come out that are already built into a black and white picture. So we're gonna bring that up. So that's one way to do it is check your opacity. Another way is the blending modes right next to it. Right now it's normal. We'll click on that one, a drop down menu comes out. And you can kind of go through each one of these, darken, multiply, and see how they change the blending mode that we had in here. Overlay, very popular. So that's actually pretty short. I like that one. Just difference in contrast, soft light, hard light. So use those. So I actually kind of, kind of like that multiply there or overlay. Let's go with the overlay. I'll click on overlay on the lips and then we'll bring it back out. Zoom back out and see it's much better there. Using those natural shadings that's already built into the picture and to see the difference again beforehand, click on the eyeball, take it off, none, and with the overlay. Now we'll add another one here. 
So let's do a little bit of his eyes. Just gonna zoom in on his eyes. Again, add a layer. Don't on do it on the same layer. Add a second layer. New layer. And always label it so you know if you have to come back which layer you're working on. Eyes. Click on that. Go back to our brush tool. And let's let's do a little red in here. A little red in the eyes. On there. And then we'll brush is really large, but it'll work. Okay, so now we'll zoom back out. Now it's kind of bright and it could work, but let's kind of adjust that so you make it a little better. Again, you can go to the opacity or go to your layers. Let me make sure I'm on eyes. Go on layers. Get down. Just kind of go through each one. Soft light's not bad. Exclusion. I think a soft light works a little there. Let's go with the soft light. See, now we see the red in there, but it doesn't look like a coloring book. Okay, so again, a quick tutorial on adding layers and then also the blending modes for the colors when you redo your black and white. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know.